Thank you. I was talking to my buddy. Uh, I asked him how he spends his free time. He told me every day he likes to go to the park and people watch. Why the f is that okay? People watch. Just because we flip the words around, it's not creepy anymore? You know? Because it's much different if he's like, yeah, every day I go to the park and I uh, watch people. But we just flipped the words, and now it's like this cultured pastime. He's like, yeah, go to the park and people watch. Sometimes I people follow. <laughs> if I really like them, all people kill. So it's the cultured guy. That's some real New York City stuff, people watching. That's where I live now, but I'm originally from Georgia. I always wanted to live in New York since I was a kid. Because when I was a kid, I would go spend the summers in Savannah, Georgia with my grandma, and we would just watch episodes of Sex in the City back to back to back. <laughs> yeah, and I would fantasize about moving to New York and being a little slut. <laughs> and my grandma was like, oh, you can do it, baby. Yeah, oh yeah. You get up there, you be whoever you want to be. Because that's how my grandma is. My grandma's like fun, you know? I remember once I was talking to my grandma, and I was like, Grandma, what was it like being a young lady growing up in Georgia? And my grandma's response, word for word, she goes, Michael, when I was 18, all the boys came back from World War II, and we had a good time. <laughs> yeah. It's a very specific answer to a very broad question. You notice how broad? But she's a Samantha. What are you going to do, you know? But this, this is why I like my grandma's generations, because I know my grandma did freaky stuff. You know, I know she got around, she got a little wild, but she doesn't feel the need to talk about it like that. She just says, we had fun, and she leaves it there. It's a different time. My grandma is very happy that I live in New York now. My dad is not. My dad is like a very strict, like, southern disciplinarian type dude. Make, make some noise if your parents hit you growing up. Make some noise, you got spanked, you got whooped. Yeah. That's a lot of you. And good, good. We're stronger for it. We are. And this year, flip the script. Fucking hit them back. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> my dad up this year. He's old, he's infirm, and he can't defend himself, okay? You know what they say? When, you, when you're growing up, your parents take care of you, you know? And then, then you grow up, and your parents get old, and you take care of them, and it's sort of like they become your kids. If that's true, my dad's going to get it, dude. 100%. 100 If my dad gets so bad he has to come and live with me, by all means, you come and live with me. But I'm beating that ass, dude. No doubt. I just know we're going to have a situation where I'm like, Dad, did you borrow the car without my permission last night? And he's like, uh, uh, no. And I'm like, I don't know why the f make me do this, but okay. <laughs> you think I like being this guy? I'm not mad that you did it. I'm mad about that you lied about it. I only do this because I love you. My dad always said that. When I was growing up, he turned me over his knee, he'd whoop me, and then he'd flip me back over and be like, hey, I only do this because I love you. This hurts me more than it hurts you. Get in here, champ. And then he'd hug me. That's a lot to process when you're five, all right? <laughs> Makes you weird. Makes you think love is pain. I almost wish he just turned me over his knee, whooped me, flipped me back over, and been like, and another thing, <laughs> you. Yeah. Okay, I understand this. This is anger. You're very angry right now. Instead, I'm just all weird as an adult. I joined a fraternity in college. They paddled me. I was like, guys, I didn't know we were here yet, but I love you too. Goddamn. The good men back there. The more I think about it, though, I don't know that I would beat my dad's ass because he's not the man he used to be. Yeah, he used to be this, like, big, scary, imposing figure. Like, hey, get over here, boy! It was like that. But now, you know, he's old and... All the testosterone's just leaving his body, and he shrinks a little every year. Now, every time I go home, he's just standing by the door with a cookie like, Hi! <laughs> Can't beat this dude's ass. He's cute as hell right now, dude. Look at this. Pinch this guy. Damn. If he does come and live with me, he's going to get unruly. You know, I won't be able to discipline him. He's going to say weird stuff at Thanksgiving, and people will be like, Hey, control your dad. I'm going to be like, Yeah, but look at him. <laughs> he's adorable. Don't you just want to show us your gums, Dad? Ah! Yeah! Cutie. I like growing up in Georgia. I like my dad. It was a good place, Georgia, you know? It's a good state to grow up in. It's better than Alabama, I'll tell you that. That's for goddamn sure. Do you know that they just legalized doing yoga in schools in Alabama? I'm sorry, did you know it was illegal to do yoga in schools in Alabama? 
It's illegal for 30 years, and they just legalized it last year. But if you're doing it, you can't use any of the classic yoga terminology, none of the Sanskrit words, because they consider it Eastern religion. So you could do the poses, but you can't say the words, which is insane. I don't even know how you do that. I feel like yoga in Alabama is just like, all right, we're going to do a Dukes of Hazard into a Wayne Perkins. <laughs> And we're going to finish up bringing hands to heart center all together now. Roll, Tad. Uh. <laughs> all right, that's it for me, guys. Thank you very much.